welcome to another Tomlin video. Today I want to show you around the new Brocken, Brogan, however you want to pronounce it, I call it Brogan, trailer. So here it is, pulling it with the ATS265, soon to be ATS305 might I add. So the difference between this trailer and my last one, it's got the different sides on it, so it's like a rock trailer, so the insides are flush, it's got these bits sticking out. So we'll start at the front, we'll work our way back. So these hitches are quite good. Pull the pin out, just slide them up and they stay out of the way. You haven't got to pull a pin out and take a shoe off. Swivel hitch, it is a bit dirty because I've, I've used it for the first time today. Swivel hitch on it, just there like that. So if you ever want to change a hitch, you can just undo this or if you ever turn the trailer over like some people do. Uh huh. Yes. Next thing. I just took this breakaway cable off. So this cable here is actually, it goes down the drawbar through that hole there, all the way along here. And then it comes out there, look, and goes to that handbrake. So if the trailer ever breaks away, it pulls that handbrake off and, and stops it running away. So that's quite a good little feature and it doesn't get in the way because it's built inside of there. It is on air and hydraulic brakes. I've just got to plug, plug hydraulic brakes, in, uh, air brakes in in a minute under here got a load sensing switch uh, a switch for the hydraulic sorry so this basically when the trailer is down the hydraulic back door won't open in case you accidentally hit the hydraulic lever or something and open the back door and put stuff all over the road or wherever so the back door won't open until the body is tipped up off that switch there like that which is good most trailers have them on nowadays this handbrake as well you can see the handbrake that's quite a good Design a handbrake, I quite like that. Quite different. Next thing we've got, so it's a 20 ton trailer. The 20 on the side actually stands for 20 foot long. So, and underneath here, don't know if you can see, that's how thick the floor is, look. So it's got a 10 mil floor. So we can chuck loads of rock in there and anything and it won't damage the floor. And then it's got eight mil sides in it as well. So it won't dent or damage the sides if we chuck a big rock in and it falls into the side of the trailer. Air tank is down here. And also as well with these trailers, I don't know if you can notice these rams look. Most other trailers have the rams going from there that way back. Whereas these, they're on sort of backwards so they're up that way and i personally think that's better because it seems to tip more so instead of like the rams trying to push against the whole weight of the trailer when it's completely loaded it sort of uses the back pin of the trailer to actually shove the trailer around so it's got more it's got more pushing power so it's using the pin on the back of the trailer next thing we've opted for on this trailer is alliance 560 60r 22.5 used to have BKT tyres, but yeah, they're very good tyres, the BKTs, but these are quite slightly thicker sidewalls, more industrial use, if you know what I mean, because the BKTs did have a few problems with them in the past, like bulging out in a few places. Another nice little feature, cutting it into the body so that when these sit down, sit down here and it sort of goes around the tyre like that. It is on, single big leaf springs, just now like that. You can see those big leaf springs under there. And it painted in black as well. I quite like them in black. And obviously all the LED lights down the side of the trailer that are now covered in muck. On the back of the trailer, we've obviously got all LED lights. On the side, we've obviously got these uh, the hydraulic pipes for the uh, rams. And another good thing about this is some other trailers I've seen, the hydraulic rams, they go from there that way, like that, and then push the back door around. But say if you're loading bricks and rubble and stuff, they can fall out, fall on top of the ram and dint and scratch it. Whereas these, when that door closes, they sit up vertical like that, so not a lot of things hit them. Got these on each side, so if you ever go down like the side of a tree or something, it pushes it round out, out the way of the door, or pulling them cables off or scratching the rams or whatever. On the back, you can't see it because it's already covered in mud. The rear bull bar and rear tow hitch. If we ever want to pull another trailer behind it, 
We've got number plate holder in there, and then we've got a switch there. Oh, where is it? Just there, look. That turns the rear strobe on the back door on and off if we want to use it. These are the rear pins, obviously, that get greased. Inside of the trailer, obviously, we've got the flush sides. 10 mil floor, 8 mil sides, like I said before. We can get quite a large volume material in there. Not like some dump trailers, because some dump trailers, they'll tell you the 20 ton dump trailers, but when you actually fill them up, you probably, you'll probably you be lucky to get 14, 15 ton in them, whereas this you will get way more than 20 ton in, but you don't want to go and overload it. Another nice little feature they do, cutting these onto the rear guards of the lights. So let's have a quick look at the back door, opening and closing, because it's quite good, because it's got these, these bits on it here, and it actually locks the back door when you shut it. So on this back door, just got it open slightly a bit at the moment. If you see, look, when it goes down, it then, you see it just slot down. It's on this oval-shaped hole, then it goes up a bit again, you see? And then it, Watch it lock in. There you go, as easy as that. Very clever. So I'm going around the other side. Everything's the same pretty much. Obviously we have got the high visibility strips which do make a big difference at night time. On the back door, put a grain chute on it as well in case you ever want to use it for grain. Not very often, but it is handy to have. And it's got rear lights built in on the back door as well so you can see the lights at the top of the trailer if someone's following you. A nice little feature on these on the axle. They even got their own axle stamps in the middle. So yeah, I'm very, very pleased with it. And then if we go around to the front, what does it weigh empty though? On the plate here, seven, a bit over seven ton empty. That's got obviously the floor and the sides in it and everything. They have changed these ladders now for aluminium ones, so they used to have obviously steel ones on, so we'll see how we get on with that. I'm sure it won't be a problem. Tipped it right up. It's quite a big lump in the air, that is, isn't it? So here we've got the uh, body stay. Pull that out. Move that there like that, so when you put it down, you can work under it safely. So we'll leave that there three stage tipping rams let's have a look under here here's that handbrake look quite good big thick draw bar on it as well another greasing point we've got to go around and do a bit of greasing in a minute so the axles as well big drum brakes under there i think they're 26 ton axles on it around around about 26 27 obviously Like I say, already starting to get covered in muck. On the back door, that LED light there, which is obviously what we turned on and off from below a minute ago. So there we have it, bit of a Friday afternoon video. Just want to do a little walk around because I think these trailers are massively underrated. They're very, very good trailers, and I've given them some serious abuse over the years. And I'm hoping this one will hold up to the same level of sort of, you know, usage I'm going to give to it. So watch this space, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.